How to format a MLA research paper. First, we're going to click on the References tab. We're going to find the style icon and make sure that it's set to MLA 6th edition. Next, we're going to make sure that our margins are one inch all the way around. So we're going to go to the page layout, margins. Right now, mine's default on Office 2003. That's not what I want, so I'm going to change it to normal. Now my margins are set. Now we're going to format the paragraphs. Go to the Home tab and find the icon under the Paragraphs group that is Line and Paragraph Spacing. Click on it. It'll bring down a drop-down menu. MLA format should be double-spaced. When I did that, it only double-spaced the first paragraph, so I'm going to highlight everything and do it again. There we go. Now we're going to format the font and size. The font that we want is either Times New Roman or Arial. I'm going to select all my font, triple click on the side. The Home tab, it's already set at Arial and already set at 12 point font. Now I'm going to add a header. Go to the Insert tab, find your header icon, click, and we're going to insert a blank header. We're going to hit the Tab key twice and then type your last name. After your last name, hit the space bar, and to add a page number, we are going to go back to insert, page number, current position. Remember to save your work often. To do this, you can do Control S and save it, or you can go to the top left where this floppy disk drive is and click on that. Now we're going to work on our heading. Place your cursor at the top of the page, type your first name space last name, hit enter, type the instructor's name, hit enter, type the course name and section, hit enter, Type in today's date. Now we are going to add our title. This must be centered. To do this, you can do Control E or go back to the Home tab up at the top and find the center icon. I'm going to type the title. Now, if you don't already have text here, you can press Enter and change it back to the left side and hit Tab and start typing. Since I already have a paper, I'm going to delete this and make sure that my tabs are set up correctly. The first line of every paragraph must be indented five spaces. To do this, all you have to do is hit the tab key once and just start typing. If you need to do an in-text citation, so if I want to do it after this sentence, all I'm going to do is click on the References tab up at the top, click on Insert Citation, add a new source. You can pick the source that you want. I'm going to choose a book, the author. I'm going to tab over to my title and paste that. The year is 2011, City, New York City. Publisher, I'm just making this up, Random House. And OK. Now it entered your in-text citation. For every MLA paper, you need to do a Works Cited. So we are going to hit Enter until we get to a new page. Works Cited needs to be in the center of the page in bold. Hit Enter, go back to left alignment. To do this, I'm going to go back to the References tab and Bibliography, and I'm going to select Works Cited. And like I said, Works Cited should be in the middle of the page, not over here, so I'm going to delete that and make sure that this dash isn't there. This is how to format a MLA research paper.